In this video I'm going to show you how to find the standard deviation using a Sharp EL738 financial calculator. First thing we need to understand is what the symbols actually mean. So you've got SX which is your standard deviation based on the n minus 1 definitions. So you've got n minus 1 on the denominator and then you've got sigma x which is the n definition so you're dividing by n instead of n minus 1 and they will give slightly different answers obviously. So let's just do a worked example and show you it uh, on the calculator. So very simple data set. So let's just get this done. Move this up. So first step as always clearing the memory. Second function and then the CA button on top of mode. That's sufficient for what we are doing. You don't need to worry about the cash flow memories. That clear is sufficient. So need to go into the stat mode, so mode 1, we're just using one set of data, so the um, SD is sufficient, so we're in stat 0 mode. Now we just enter the data, very simply, just put in this data and press enter after it. So we've got 6, enter, this keeps count, 10, enter, 15, 19, 4 and 12. There we go, so that's the data set in the memory and then you use the recall button um, and we should get these answers if we've done it all right. So we want recall and then you'll notice in green you've got all the statistical functions. So on the number 5 we have the SX and that gives us that answer there and just doing this again you do recall and then we've got on number 6 we've got the other one. So there you have, there's the answers. And if you want to quit this mode, so you don't want to be stuck in the stat mode or have to reset your calculator, very simple, just press mode, zero, and you're back to normal. So there you have it, that's how you calculate standard deviation on a financial calculator. Thank you for watching and hopefully this has been helpful to you.